Westbrook, the hesitation. Oh, oh, the monster jam by Russell Westbrook and the foul. Oh, my gosh. I know it's not Sunday, J.K. Bing. Dip him in holy water. <laughs> Russell Westbrook has been playing completely out of his mind lately, doing something that is almost unheard of in the NBA and especially in the modern days where it has never happened before except for Oscar Robertson 30-40 years ago, averaging a triple-double in the NBA. Seven out of his last 10 games are triple-doubles. His last game, 22 points, 15 boards, 14 assists. The game before that, 35 points, 14 boards, 21 assists. So today, I'm bringing you the 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 85 driving dunks. You get all the contact dunks, 73 three-pointer, 94 ball handling, and decent defense. Russell Westbrook, playmaking takeover, slashing playmaker with 99 stamina. I have not seen a Russell Westbrook build any more perfect than this one. The only take which as you see, it has Hall of Fame finishing badges and Hall of Fame playmaking, is that you could say it should have a high rebound, but it's basically perfect. Six foot four, I think Russell's six foot three or six four in real life, depending on if he has shoes on or not. But welcome back, Plug Nation. Hey, it's your boy, Badge Plug. Drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's get into some threes gameplay. So our lineup is a slash play, perimeter lock, paint beast. And check it out. Play shot, play shot. Oh, and a playmaking shot critter. The most... 2k21 lineup you could ever see on 2k21 triple play shot lineup and today we got russell at the park man he's been going insane lately comment down below who is the next nba player you want to see from me but this man although the wizards aren't doing very good does the same thing no matter where he goes cradle dunk first play of the game he basically averages a triple double no matter what team he's on and as you guys see i have him in a rockets jersey because 2k will not update the nba store man please update the nba store 2k but i did put him in a wizard shorts you know so we got the rockets jersey on in the wizard shorts so it kind of you know what i'm saying i had to throw both of them in there you see downhill just like russell doesn't realize grabbing the rebound he rips me though i get it right back two to zero i'm like all right hold up dot in the corner he comes out of it does a little close shot now it's four to zero so russell lately has not only been averaging a triple double you know he's posterizing his defenders you see me getting a steal going down getting a nasty dunk six to zero but he's also been in some controversy lately with stephen a smith i'm not sure if you guys have seen it or not but stephen a was pretty much saying hey you know you're doing all these great things but where's the ring and then russell responded with something great which a lot of people are taking the side on saying hey you know i'm already a champion at life blah 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 i grew up in the streets now i'm a multi multi-millionaire and I understand that. It was a great response. If you guys seen Stephen A's response to that, as you see me pulling up right here and looking just like Russell, who's shooting about 31% from the field this year from the three-point line. I had to leave that in there so you guys could see it, okay? Perfect Russell build, you know? But in Stephen A's response, he was basically saying, hey, look, I understand exactly where you're coming from. And you are correct. But at the same time, it's just like saying that, you know, I'm doing great in life. And you guys know Stephen A. Smith, you know, he just signed a huge deal with ESPN. And he's saying, but since I signed this deal, I should say, oh, I'm a champion in life. I shouldn't care about the ratings. So what Stephen A. was saying is that, yes, you are a champion in life, but you're getting paid to go out there and compete. You shouldn't say that championships don't matter. You're a basketball player. That should, that's one of the main things in basketball. You know what I'm saying? You play for the heart of winning to be a champion. So you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section down below. I don't think there's a right or wrong. And I don't think either side meant any disrespect at all towards each other. I really do not think so. 13 to 2, as you see, we're just throwing the alley. Yo, we got six points, three assists, two steals, one rebound. Looking like Russell out here. We're just doing everything we possibly can. And I'm trying to do a little layup right there. He contested great. Remedy gets the rebound. 15 to 2, throws it back to me. But hold on, what would this build video be if I didn't miss a bunch of threes? And then come down, as you see right here, stop, pop, uh, and make a three. Yes, I did make a white three. Thank you, 2K. Now we're shooting around Russell's percent from three right now. But that man does shoot a lot of threes, okay? 18 to five, he splashes a three right there. And like I said, I don't feel like either side would meant any disrespect or anything like that. But as a fan of Russell, even though he's extremely overhated, in my opinion, people are starting to switch up a little bit. You guys know how people are. Uh, I do want to see him win a championship. I do want to see him play on a contending team once again. 
and try to win a championship ring. I feel like he's going to be one of the best players of the modern era that never won a ring. You know, there's going to be a bunch of them for sure, because LeBron and lots of other players like the Warriors team, their dynasty, stop people from getting them. But I would really like to see him compete one more time in his career. That way we can see Russell possibly get a championship. So you see 20 to 5 right here. I'm trying to cook up, trying to get a three pointer. It's all good though. I'm coming down, getting the nasty athletic one hand hanging on the goal dunk. I mean, this build right here is excellent. Not only is it an NBA player video, and I try to tell you guys this in each video, a little breakdown of the build, because yeah, not every NBA player video is meant to be like, oh, this build is so good. It's meant to show off the player and, you know, just have some fun. As you see right there, I was literally aiming the stick straight at my man in the corner and it threw it to Premier. I mean, that's literally just 2K. But this build right here is actually very good only if you're great at shooting. Like, you have to be really good. I would much rather be on the slasher build that I made the Anthony Edwards video out of because it has like an 82 three-pointer. And even that is hard to shoot on. See what I'm saying? If you're a twos player though, you see me pulling up just like Russ, man. That's his, one of his signature moves right there. But yeah, I would much rather be on a slasher build that has Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame finishing, which wasn't the Anthony Edwards video. But either one of those two builds are going to probably be better for you unless you're very good at shooting. And then still, with the 82 three-pointer, as you guys know, it's not easy for most people in the community to shoot because this year you really have to be able to excellent shoot. Like you have to be really good at shooting to be able to shoot efficiently. So it's a great build. It just lacks in the shooting. I kick it down to the corner. Excellent. We already got two points, already got an assist, and we're playing exactly how Russell does. Now, I have an idea for my next few player videos where I'm going to do like the same badges that he has on the roster. And, you know, obviously the clothes, face scan, all that, the jump shot, the animations. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see as well, or you're just cool with me hopping on a build. Now, keep in mind, this build plays almost exactly like Russell, but I just mean having on basically an exact replica of what 2K put him as, you know? So right here, he's going down, getting a little lip, almost toilet bowled out. Seven to four, good shot contest, I'll take it. We got two points, two assists, that's what Russ does. He's everywhere on the court doing everything. I mean, this man, it's insane. If you guys just looked at his recent stats, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, it just doesn't make sense. It's like he's playing on my career, on rookie, you know? Some of those, if you put it on five minute quarters, it's it's kind of hard to put up stats like that in a my career game. He's doing it out in the NBA on real NBA defenders every single night, night in, night out. Nine to four, I'm on the fast break right here. I swing it to the corner. He's gonna shoot that excellent release and that's another dime for Russ. Now look, Russ has been playing crazy lately. You couldn't, you can definitely take it away and say, hey, you know, the Wizards aren't doing that good. But like I said, he's done this on every team, on the contending Thunder team, on the Rockets team that he was on. He does this and he's proven that it wasn't just one team or one system or one coach. He literally does it everywhere. And I think that's something that even if he doesn't win a ring, which is not looking very good for him right now, that that's something you, you should add on to his legacy is that yes you can take all from his legacy that he had many contending teams and never won but everywhere he went he played solid his game really didn't decrease or decrease a lot and he always held it down for his team you know went out there every night and played extremely hard and was just great all around at basketball except for kind of you know three-point shooting but that's something that you can't take away from the man he is a hustler every game out there diving for balls etc you see me contact dunk in the center right there 16 to 10 we almost have takeover and that's one thing about playmaking takeover in this game as i told you guys with my lamello build the only reason i put play take on it was to make it a very realistic lamello build don't ever choose playmaking takeover guys it takes so long to get i mean as you guys see i got six points and four assists 2k six points and four assists and we still don't have playmaking takeover. I do have one turnover, but that's crazy. You see, I'm trying to cook up. I'm like trying to do my thing, you know, and I have tight handles on. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot about tight handles because I hadn't used it on Hall of Fame the whole year. I'm like, all right, I got to take that off right after this. But hold up, hold up. I'm about to pull up and green. Oh, no, we missed the shot. Yeah. Well, at least you guys know, right? Russ, 
That's what he does. He's pulling that thing. If he's open, he's pulling it. That's one thing I like about the man. He doesn't back down from shooting the three-pointer. He will make the defense step up from time to time. And if he hits it, then you're in big trouble because now you have to guard this shot and you have to guard his drive, which is almost impossible to guard even if you're just standing in the paint. But that's what he does. 16 to 12 right here. Get a little layup. And we still don't have takeover. Ah, I wanted to get takeover one time for the video, y'all, but we just could not get it on the fast break. Playing lazy defense, which we should definitely not be doing because the game's almost over. One play left. What will Russell do? 18 to 14 in the ISO. I'm pulling up. You already know green in that thing. You can do it. It's your boy Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.